All right, welcome back into another NL East MLB draft preview. Today, Thursday, we are doing the Washington Nationals. Now, Ian, the Nationals, they have gone college pitching and then college pitching and then um, college pitching and then college pitching. So yeah. in 2021, <laughs> I'll just throw it to you, man. Where do you think the Washington Nationals and Mike Rizzo could go with the 11th pick? I think there's a slight chance they can go college pitching, but Whoa. I don't think I don't know. I don't, you think they're going to zag? Don't think, I don't think it's chalk though. I don't think it's going to be chalk to go college pitching. I think this is another spot like we were just talking about the Mets yesterday that are going to be in a spot where there's going to just there's going to be a lot of dominoes dominoes that fall before pick eleven comes. Um, I think Washington sits in a position where there could be a guy on their board who they really didn't expect to be on their board at eleven. Um, I think maybe a guy like we just mentioned before, Gavin Williams could be there at 11, could be a, a name that they like. I think Kumar Rocker, slight, super slight chance he's on the board at 11. That that's, a, that's a pick that they do. But another couple of names are college bats that I think could really fit in this spot. Um, if Sal Frelick doesn't underslot in the top 10, I think he's a guy who really could fit in that range at 11. And Colton Kowser, another center field type. Um, it's, a, it's a bat that – a system that is very barren of – high profile bats in Washington. I know they draft pitching and can develop pitching, but they're going to have to add substantial bats to put alongside Juan Soto when he's in his prime in 25, 26 in, in a couple of years. So I think those are two guys that I really like at a spot at 11 that they could really fit with Kowser and Frelick. I like those. Um, you know, they've, they've, ta they've taken so much pitching in the last three years that that's really what their farm system is anchored on by, but they're, you know, they've gone the college bat route in the past. They went with Drew Mendoza in yeah. the second round in 2019. I really liked Drew Mendoza. I know it hasn't totally clicked for him yet, but I liked the approach. Um, maybe you see them go that route again. And I think a guy to watch out for, and I know that we have brought this guy up uh, numerous times this week, I think Trey Sweeney makes a lot of sense for this Sweeney. team as well. Sweeney. I like I like it. You I know, mean, I think I like I like Sweeney a lot anywhere in this first round. We've talked about it on air, off air, but I think Sweeney's going to be a lot of a lot of what teams really look for in this draft. He just mm -hmm. brings a lot to the table. He's played shortstop his entire college college career. He's shown he can play shortstop at the next level. Don't think he's going to do that long term. He's going to be a third baseman, but man, he can fit so many so many boxes for so many teams. And starting at pick eleven, I think that's a possibility. For sure. Yeah, and you know, I I don't think they're completely sold on Drew Mendoza being able to stay at third base if they haven't already given up on it. I know he's gotten Absolutely. quite a bit of time at first base. Uh, I'm a lot more sure that Trey Sweeney is going to be able to stay on the left side of the infield or even handle second base if need be. So Absolutely. this is why, you know, we do more and more and more of these, and it becomes pretty prevalently clear that there will be a home earlier than most people expect for Trey Sweeney. I think the same can be said for like a Connor Norby. I don't know if he gets all the way up to 11, but it's something to something to track. Um, and if all else fails, the Washington Nationals can go the college pitching route. It's a good year, especially where they're picking for college pitching. Ty Madden is like cut from the cloth that Mike Rizzo absolutely loves. Just big, tall, prototypical, big conference righty. I mean, he's done it over and over and over. I think Jordan Wicks makes some sense as well. But yeah, I, I could even see someone like Matt McClain. You know, they're they're using Starlin Castro at shortstop right now, I, I believe, as well as Trey Turner, of course. Um, but Trey Turner's coming up on a contract extension. I don't think it's entirely sold that he's going to stay in Washington or he's going to sign an extension with the team. They've already got a lot of money devoted other places. So we'll see. But I, I can't help but think they're going to go the college route. They seem to always go the college route. Um, but hey, man, if there was a year that they were going to go high school, this would certainly be the year. We'll kind of have to see, like other teams, who falls into their lap. Um, I'll throw it back over to you. Are there any kind of last-minute sleepers that you could maybe see Washington going after? Maybe maybe just a wild underslot. I mean, maybe not. I wouldn't say wild underslot. But I think guy's going to fit a lot higher than a lot of outlets are mocking him. He's going to be a first-rounder, and that's Peyton Stovall out of Hot mm. Houghton, Louisiana. That's a guy who's just a pure hitter, showed a ton of power this spring. And he's going to stick in the in, stick in the infield. He's a guy who just really just you really could check it. Like I said, a bunch this week checks a bunch of boxes, and he just really popped this spring and really blew up on a lot of guys' boards. So I think that's a guy you can underslot at eleven that would make a ton of sense for Washington. 
have heard some Daniel Murphy's comparisons on Peyton Stovall, and, and we all know Daniel Murphy made his hay, uh, at least part of it, in uh, in Washington. That's going to do it for the Washington Nationals. Uh, I think I speak for Ian when I say we're expecting them to go the college blue chip route, but yeah. um, it would not surprise me in a weird year like 2021 that Mike, is, uh, Mike Rizzo zigs when we expect him to zag. So that'll do it for the Washington Nationals. Again, we will talk to you tomorrow with the last NL East preview. Talk to you then.